Hello everybody and welcome to The Lynn Life. I have a special treat for you today. Vlogging as I do now is not the first time I've been on camera. Um, as most of you know, I've had a career of almost 40 years now um, in video production, TV production, video production, however, whatever you want to call it. Shooting, editing, producing, directing. And uh, I have been on camera before in other situations, just not often. 99% of the time I was the guy behind the camera. But recent events have caused me to dig up some archival footage of uh, a production that I was involved in uh, with uh, my, a good friend of mine, my friend Paul. And uh, I dug it up and I want to show it to you today. It's going to be entertaining. We're going back 33 years. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. Back in 1990, my friend Paul and I, who also worked in the business, decided, hey, we have all the equipment, we have the know-how, let's start a television show, a local TV show. And, uh, and we, we, we ultimately we did it. We decided to air it. It aired on the cable network. It was not public access. It was, uh, you know, a commercial venture. We had uh, sponsors, and there were commercials during the uh, during the show, and it was called In Focus. That was the name of our show, and we not only produced it and uh, shot it and edited it, but we hosted it as well. And uh, it was it was difficult, but we knew how to do it. We knew how to do it. Um, it was really very similar to what we do today in vlogging uh, when we vlog, but it was uh, it'd be much more difficult to do that today. <laughs> but we had our little system of how to do it. Uh, you'll notice we had handheld mics, and uh, when we interviewed people and when we were on camera ourselves, and uh, it was a lot of fun. We did it for a few years. And, uh, in fact, I met my wife, Lynn, um, after I had been doing that for a while. In fact, I think she's been in it a couple times. There's one segment I think you can see Lynn and I, and we're quite a ways away, but it's in, it's in part of the shots. But we had fun with it, and there was uh, no one else to tell us what to do, so we, we got kind of funny. Some parts were kind of funny. But it was a local show for this area, and it was fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some of it now. Now don't laugh too hard. I look a lot younger. 33 years can do a number on you, and here's the proof. Greetings, Unicans. Welcome to the November edition of In Focus. My name is Paul Buckley, and I'm Jonathan Lee. We'll be your host for the next half hour as the In Focus cameras go where no cameras have gone before. In this month's edition, we meet the Utica Devils hockey team. Then we go dirt track racing with Eric Gall and his Price Chopper racing team. Off the track and into the water, we meet local spa designer Joe Schrader. It's November, and that means hockey season. We're standing outside the Utica Memorial Auditorium in sunny downtown Utica, the home of the Utica Devils, our host for tonight's show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. No, the quality isn't that good. I was taking these off of VHS copies that I used to archive this these uh these shows and uh so the quality isn't as good but you you get you get the idea and uh so much of this i don't even remember shooting um but i can't wait to share this with some people uh, especially my friend paul um it, it's uh it's gonna be funny and uh 
sadly there are some people that were involved uh, with our show that have passed. Uh, in particular, uh, uh, one individual, his name is Jim, and uh, he's in the credits that I'm going to show later. And he did all our, our graphics. He was a graphic artist. He passed away last year. And it was, uh, there's a memorial for him this Sunday. And that's the event that caused me to dig some of this stuff up. Uh, so I'm going to that. I'm going to uh, uh, see some people that I haven't seen in, oh, probably 30 years. <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, But I want to show you more of this. I want to show you some more of this, and I'll explain it. Uh, some, there are some copyrighted music that I'm going to, I can't, I can't air that part. So I may talk over some of it, but uh, I, I want to sh share some of it with you. Yeah, right, ref. Boy, that ref is terrible. I'll say. Where do they get these bozos? I think they got that guy at the Association for the Blind. What are you doing here? I got two minutes for slashing. What are you in here for? I got five minutes for fighting, and there's only one minute left in the game. And there's only one minute left of In Focus. And we sure hope you have enjoyed our show. In Focus is a monthly television magazine. airs every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. on Heron Cable, Channel 14. If you'd like to be on our show, just drop us a line at the address that follows. Five minutes for fighting. You hardly touched the guy. I killed him. No, you didn't. What are you talking about? Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> Having a TV show gave you license to be able to do a lot of things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. So we had a lot of fun with that. And uh, we also had some celebrities on the show, and uh, not just sports personalities like a lot of hockey players that later went on to the uh, NHL, but um, uh, we had uh, Mr. T on the show at one point, we had George Foreman on the show, we had various uh, professional wrestlers on the show, but there's another one that, uh, in particular, uh, that I remember that I did have footage of was Morgana the Kissing Bandit. She was on the show because she was actually part owner of a single A, you know, minor league baseball team in the area. And uh, I not only was able to interview her, I got kissed by her on the field. Now, if you know who Morgana is, the Kissing Bandit, if you if you're into baseball for any period of time, you know who Morgana is. She her. Uh, claim of fame was uh, running out in the baseball field and kissing baseball players and getting arrested. Uh, uh, <laughs> so um, I, I'll just run the footage. I, I have to kind of talk over the first part because there was music on it, but this is Morgana coming out to kiss me. If you're a sport fan, you'll be familiar with Morgana, better known as the Kissing Bandit. Hi, Morgana, and welcome to In Focus, and welcome to Utica. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, and what a pleasure it is to be back, because the fans in the Utica area spoil me rotten, so that keeps me coming back season after season. Plus the fact of, when we're talking baseball, I'm proud to say I'm part owner of the Utica Blue Sox here in town. So that's thrilling for me. I put my money where my mouth is, you might say. <laughs> so this is my fifth season with the team, and it's just a, a thrill to be involved with them. How many players have you kissed, really? Well, if you count NBA and hockey and what have you, there's over 50. But since we're talking baseball here today, there's been 36 of the fans' favorite pro players, starting with Pete Rose. And, of course, there's been Nolan Ryan, uh, Dickie Thon, uh, Don Mattingly, George Brett, uh, Cal Ripken Jr. The list just goes on and on, and many more to come. We even got Greg Jeffries, because once you kiss a Yankee, then the Mets fans get mad. <laughs> I went to jail for kissing Donnie, and they said, well, you haven't gone to jail for kissing a Met yet, so uh, we got one on the kiss list coming up shortly. That's great. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. We also enjoyed like acting out these little scenes in the in the show a lot. It, it made it more fun to do, and this is one I did uh, for the baseball team. It's the bottom of the ninth. Coming to bat, the Utica Blue Sox is Jonathan Lee, the league's biggest hitter. Last time Lee and Buckley were together, Buckley threw him out for being a smart aleck. There's no love lost here between these two guys. Here comes the windup, the delivery, and it's high. No, it's a strike. I can't believe he called a strike, and neither can Lee. You got a problem with that call? Boy, Lee didn't like that pitch, folks. And I'll tell you, it was high. Here's the next pitch, and it's low. No, it's a strike. I can't believe he called it a strike. 
It was a beautiful pitch. Lee didn't like that, Cowboy. He's really upset. He's really digging in there now. And what, oh my God, he's pointing towards the right field fence. I haven't seen that this year. He's digging in. Look at that look of determination. He's digging. Here comes the pitch. Here's the pitch. swing. And oh, oh, it's back. It's way back. It's going deep. It's almost downtown. It's deep. It's deep, deep, deep. It's over the 340. Right out the souvenir land. Okay. Well, until next time, keep things in focus. We'd also help promote the show by getting local radio personalities on as well. Hell, we just done about everything. That's right, we have you. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm at the WOUR production studio where they make all those wild radio commercials. Speaking of wild, I took a visit to the Utica Zoo just the other day where I met some wild animals. Let's take a look. This month on In Focus, you won't see any hokey home videos. Or Roseanne Barr's tattoo. Or a flat-headed Simpson cartoon. But here's a few things you will be seeing on In Focus. Doctor, what are you doing? I'm looking up the word icon, Allison. Our friends from In Focus just called me an icon. I'm trying to figure out what the heck it is. Something to do with a camera, isn't it? No, no, that's Nikon. Icon, well, that's got to be something good or they wouldn't have said it on television, right? They also had a local golf pro giving golf tips. And, uh, but we had to have fun with it, right? So here's, a, here's an intro to one of those tips. Well, after last month's In Focus Golf Tips, I went out and got myself a set of clubs. Caddy, my nine iron. Four! Ooh, I need some more In Focus Golf Tips. All right, I think that's going to about do it, but before we go, I want to mention um, our friend Jim De Palma, who has since passed, and he helped us out. He was our graphics guy, and he helped us out a lot. He created our logo and did all the other graphics, and graphics 33 years ago was a lot different than graphics today, so I just, I, I, had, to, I had to mention him. I'm showing you some of the you know, the uh, credits at the end that we use, that he created that as well. So, yeah, a lot has happened <laughs> in the 33 years since then. And uh, I've had a whole career since then. I was in it for about, I think my career was only about five, six years old uh, at the time um, when I uh, was doing the In Focus show. So I was fairly new. I was fairly new. In, in it at that point and uh, I think that's about it if you have any questions or maybe there's some people out there that have seen the show that are local um, you know leave some comments and I'd love to hear from you and we'll see you next time on the Lynn Line <laughs>